Hi. Hi, everyone. If you want to see me, I think you have to click maybe. You have to give me access. Sharing. Because you don't want me to show my screen yet, right? Nope, we do. Oh, yeah, we do? we're good. Yeah. Been ready. All right. Well, While we're getting the screen up. Why don't I do a few um, housekeeping items and just welcome everybody and introduce our webinar for today. So hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we are so excited to have Shannon O'Brien with us today from Love to Sugar, aka the Sugar Mama. Here and she comes. Yes. And we also have Tiffany Mano uh, from our California office from Alexander's Aesthetics in California. Um, before we get started with the presentation, just a couple housekeeping items I want to go over with you. We are going to have times, time for questions, but we're going to reserve those to the end. Um, there's a question box on the right-hand side, or it should be right-hand side, or on the control panel, wherever that is on your screen. And you can go ahead and type in questions. And at the end of the webinar, what we will do is um, just go through those questions and have Shannon and Tiffany answer those for you. Um, right now, if everyone wants to just go find that, go ahead and type in the question box just where you're calling in from, what state you're calling in from. We really kind of love to see the community right now and where everybody's from just to kind of pull us all together. Um, and I think that's it. With that, I'm going to pass it over to Tiff and Shannon. Wendy, would you mind um, enabling my camera because it's just doing these uh, slides? Oh wait, maybe I'm able. No, it's that on my end. Go, yeah, be able to go into your, go up to webcam and click I it, and then put share my web webcam. I think because I'm in the presentation. Hold on. Yay! So this is the fun part, right, guys? Yay. Like we're all trying to figure out how to do all these things as estheticians. I feel like. You know, we've learned a lot already in this last week. <laughs> there she is. We're here. All right, you see me now? Yep, you're on. I see your beautiful face. Beautiful. Tiffany, you can start up. Awesome. Welcome, everyone. We're so excited to have you guys here. We know that this is kind of crazy town outside so hope i hope everyone is safe at home or wherever you are if you can get into your office just to change your own scenery it's great um, we put this together shannon and i wanted to uh alexander's and shannon really wanted to collaborate together about sugaring so shannon has been sugaring for many years now um, i have been for probably five or six i think at this point um, but we really want to talk about education. We're both very involved in education. That's our goal here. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Tiffany. I am the educator for the Alexanders. Um, I am in California. I also do travel out to the beautiful Colorado. Um, Alexanders itself is a, if you are not familiar with us as a company, Alexanders is a distribution company. So we are all of the accessories that you need as an esthetician for your room. So we have skincare, we have waxes, we have sugar of the Nile as our paste. Um, we do have in-house training and all of that, that great little video. Um, Wendy, who was up here a second ago, her awesome teenage son actually put that video together. So when we say we're family business, we are a family business and the whole family of everyone is involved. <laughs> so. Um, so what we're going to do today, Shannon's going to, going to take over. I'm popping in and out. You'll get to see me and I'll come back and forth. Um, and Shannon's going to go through sugaring and why we sugar. Woohoo. Okay, so first I want to start out by saying that I have been a part of the Alexander's family for a long time. Not by blood, but by skincare. I started out, um, my first day spa that I ever owned was in South Lake Tahoe, California. And I'm actually from Burlingame, where Alexander's, uh, the first one is. And, um, and I used to go down, drive down there to see my family and I would pick up my supplies and I would head back up to the mountain and, 
and bring all of my supplies up to my day spa. And so it's been, I was watching that opening video and it was warming my heart because it's been so fun to watch your journey with your family and be a part of it. And now to be back and, and, and educating sugar is just really, really been neat. So thank you for having me. Let's get right to it. Um, oh, welcome, thank you. I wanted to just give you a background of who I am really quick, not because I'm full of myself, but because I want you to understand where I've come from. Again, I just told you that I had a day spa in Lake Tahoe. Um, I have been, a, I started out as a solo. I actually trained years ago. I wanna say, let's see, 2018, my son's 18, 18 years ago in Las Vegas at Euphoria School, and I was actually able to go back and train there uh, recently, which was a really neat honor. Uh, but I started out as a solo, and I had a room in the back of a salon, and I gradually made my way up. I had my own day spa, again, in Lake Tahoe, and life happened around 2009, um, and I life shifted for me, so I moved down to Folsom, California, um, which is just outside of Sacramento, and I started over again. I sold my day spa and I started over again. Well, for those of you that remember, in 2008, nine, right around there, 10 was when the big recession, the last recession that we had started. And here I was, little Shannon Skin Studio, starting over again. And not only did the recession happen, but my dog died. I'd sold my spa and my dad died. He was my hero. And I just wasn't quite sure how I was gonna do all this. Um, and I was at a happy hour and one of my new friends in Sacramento said, I'm going to get sugared. And I didn't even know what that was at the time, but I thought I better give it a shot. So what I realized back then was people were really mindful of their budgets, which they are going to be now and for the next bunch of months. And I really needed to get good at hair removal because their eyebrows needed attention. And if they didn't have money, maybe for a facial, they could buy skincare and they could get their brows done. Um, and when I heard about sugaring and I went to get sugared, I was hooked. So funny enough, I got the name The Sugar Mama because I was a single mama with two small kids and I sugared. So they started calling me the sugar mama and I opened up sugar mamas and it was basically, I just changed the name and added another girl who was renting with me. And so time has gone by and now I can show you my little piece, my little space here. There's our little sugar. That is the entryway of my sugar mama. So I started as a solo and because of sugar, I was able to open a 2000 square foot facility because we needed more space so that we could just keep doing what we did. And, and I don't advertise my clients. Once they get sugared, they tell five friends. And when I knew that this was really a something and I mastered it because it was really hard at first, I was not very good. I'll, my, my fellow students in class will tell you that I, I started out really actually probably the worst one in class, but the more I practiced and the more I really worked on my craft, I realized that I wanted to make sure that everyone had this education. So that's where iSugar University was born. And then more people wanted our training, our training, our training. And so Love to Sugar was born. And because I have a big, bold personality, uh, the podcast was born. And so we'll talk about more and more of that as time goes by. But what I want to share with you is I started sugaring out of necessity. And this is the time that we're in right now is to really figure out what it is our clients need and really get good at it. So we have some time at home, which is why you're on this webinar. And we have some time to really either start a new skill of sugaring or really perfect that skill. Maybe you put it on the back burner for a little bit and it's time to pick those skills up. So Let's go to, we're gonna, we're gonna touch on the basics of sugar in here and we're gonna share with you what Sugar of the Nile is all about. That's what Tiffany will do. And really the history of sugaring is some people think that we've just started doing this in the last few years, but it has been around 
for a long time. In fact, I have clients that tell me that their grandmas and their aunties and their uncles back in Lebanon still sugar each other, sugar arms and legs and eyebrows around the kitchen table. So it still is practiced in Europe, but it did start many, many moons ago where it was actually an art form. And we all love our Cleopatra when it comes to uh, the history of skincare where she was taking milk baths and rumor has it is that she took her milk baths and she also loved her some sugar. So that's kind of a fun little piece of trivia for history. So what is body sugaring? Okay, so let's start out. I brought some sugar. We use a glove. I'm going to demo for you just a little bit and I'm gonna get my sugar out. So this is body sugar. It's lemon sugar and water. That's it. It's so pure. You can eat it. In fact, I'll take a little piece and show you. I could stand a little sugar. No, <laughs> I have to ask you, would you do that with your wax? Probably not. Um, and it's just used at room temperature, so it will never burn your clients. I have to laugh. I have sugar all over my nails, which by the way, after this whole restriction of being home, once this shelter in place is lifted, my nails are going to need some help. <laughs> but this is body sugar. It's lemon sugar and water. It's so pure you can eat it. My clients love that icebreaker because they trust me that I'm using something that is very pure, so pure that I even will sometimes put it on a little stick hand it to their kids and keep them occupied. Just a little bit of sugar. It's almost like giving peanut butter to a dog where they keep licking the roof of their mouth. Um, but it really helps the clients to feel at ease that you are not going to um, put anything on their skin that is toxic or might hurt them. Um, sugar only sticks to dead skin cells. It does not adhere to live skin cells. So we won't have that um, skin lift that you might experience with wax. Um, it just wraps around the hair and we're going to go over the anatomy of the hair in a moment it's economical so this is it a little bit of sugar a glove and that's all you need no more sticks and strips and all of that um, but it's very economical because a little bit goes a long way you use the same ball for the entire body part so i would probably use this um, for a full face and i could even do a bikini a full bikini with just this little bit of sugar Sugar paste is water soluble, which is huge for me. Um, I was kind of a messy waxer back in the day and my pot would get wax everywhere. Or say in the beginning when um, someone was practicing in school and you'd get wax on an eyebrow, um, I wasn't able to clean it up as easily as this because this is just water soluble. So water in a washcloth will clean this whole product up. So. If I happen to get sugar on something like my finger, I just use water and a washcloth to get it up. Sugar is not tested on animals. Once again, it's just lemon, sugar, and water. That's it. It is sanitary and we love it. Okay, so that is our sugar. We'll go back to that in just a moment. You're probably wondering why I have a picture of carrot and a garden, a carrot in the soil. So I want you to imagine, I'm probably one of the only estheticians that you know, actually probably all my students have now bought these. Um, but I get this little plastic carrot on Amazon um, because I like to explain this to my clients and to my students on what exactly hair removal is like. So imagine this is the hair that is on the surface of your arm, say, right? So you have the carrot that's down underneath the soil, like in the picture, and the green leafy part is the hair you see on the surface. Now, with wax, as you know, we put the hot wax on top of the green leafy part. It shrink wraps around the hair and pulls the hair out against the direction of hair growth. With shaving, we just shave the green leafy part off. But with sugar, we actually mold against the direction of the hair growth. It pulls that hair up. We do a second time and it starts to pack around this carrot. And then we actually slide the hair out with the direction of hair growth. So you have uh, less risk of breakage, um, of damage to the follicle because we're sliding that whole carrot out the way that it, the way that it likes to grow. So here is your anatomy of a hair follicle. You're all familiar with that. But look at how that sugar pulls that whole hair out. And again, we, the sugar slides down and wraps around the hair and can extract the whole hair out of that follicle and uh, and just uh, 
absolutely complete removal hair of hair happens. So this is the mold and flick. This is the technique with which we uh, apply the sugar to the skin. Again, we're demonstrating that we slide that hair. So this is the wrong way. This is wiping sugar on the skin, which is why it's really important to learn the right way. But when we mold the sugar onto the skin the right way, we're actually applying that sugar onto the skin. As you can see, that's the right way there. We mold three times. Like I said, that sugar is seeping down and wrapping around all of those little carrots. It's not hot. It's used at room temperature, so it'll never burn your client. Your clients don't have to worry about any sort of accidents or anything with sugar, which we love. And then when we get to the very end, we actually drop our wrist and flick that sugar off. We catch that ball in our fingertips and we go on and use the same ball of sugar again on the next section. So um, I probably the only esthetician you know that um, also goes to the, the produce aisle and takes picture of produce, pictures of produce. And I'll show you my latest picture is of onions. So when we slide, and you could use this analogy as well, when we're sliding that uh, onion, say, out of the hair over and over again, it actually causes slower growing and a weaker onion or weaker carrot inside the follicle, okay? Removal of that whole hair will actually help that, help that follicle to not grow as much hair the next time. So you'll have less ingrowns, less irritation. And actually that onion that has the bulb and the stalk, the more we pull it out, I tell my clients, it, it, the bulb goes away and it becomes more like a scallion. So clients really want to come back on the regular because they want you to be taking out scallions. They don't want to grow their bulbs back. So the scallion and the onion analogy is what helps me to bring those clients back every four to five weeks. Now, I'm not putting these uh, rave reviews up to brag about myself, um, but what I am wanting to exhibit is I haven't asked for any of these reviews. I haven't asked for anyone. I don't, I don't promote people to, to review us on Yelp. These just happen. And if you go onto my Yelp, you can see all of our great reviews. But the reason why I share this with you is that so that you understand that clients are loving the results. They're loving that it's not hot. It doesn't burn them that it's natural, that they can eat it. They're loving the fact that the results are so good, they want to come back and they wanna make sure that they support our businesses. So when, now that we're going through this shelter in place time, my staff and I have been personally calling each of the clients. And we personally, you know, check in with them and we see how they're doing and kind of wondering if they're gonna cancel. We're trying to move them, you know, into April to when we hopefully can all come back from this. And every single client, I am being true with you, every single client says, oh, I'm not canceling my appointment. In fact, how soon can you get me in? These clients are dying for us to open again because their legs are hairy, their eyebrows are hairy, their chins are hairy, and all they can think about is their roots, their nails that are growing out, and getting the hair off their body. So if you can provide for them a service that they're gonna be asking for, and you can say yes when they call and say, do you all sugar? Because they've had plenty of time to research these things. You can say yes when they call because you'll have the ability to sugar because you've been practicing at home while you've been waiting. So again, the, the key is to have happy clients. The key is to have smooth skin and to have repeat business so that we can make it through these times and you can really, really enjoy your practice. Now, do you need to stop doing facials and start only sugaring? very similar to what I do. No, you can just add sugar. You can add, it's so good for the skin. It is great for sensitive skin because it's not hot. It's all natural for those clients that are looking for that. For clients that were never able to wax before, they can sugar. If you are a waxer, that is awesome. We never bash waxers, but we definitely say you should at least educate yourself and understand what sugaring is all about. Okay, give me some sugar. <laughs> How the heck can you get started? Well, I am honored to say that Sugar of the Nile is one of those sugaring companies that gets it. 
And Alexander's Aesthetics has wisely brought on Sugar of the Nile as a vendor of theirs. They are a beautiful company with beautiful products that I highly recommend. And the support that you are gonna get is amazing with Tiffany and her staff at Alexander's um, and Alexander's too out in Colorado. The, the support and the love and, and having us all work together to make sure that you are the most well-rounded esthetician is really pretty cool stuff. So right now, what we're doing is we're working with the sugar companies because you all are at home, is to get you into online training so that you can start now. The, the gals are feverishly packing up kits as we speak, and they're gonna send you a kit that you can start with. And Tiffany will be talking about this in just a moment. All of your supplies are there. It's a one-stop shop. I ordered everything from them 16 years ago and still to this day. From the sugar mats, we'll go over this, any supplies, anything that you need, they are there for you and they can send you things. They can even drop ship for you if you need. And Tiffany, again, we'll talk about this in a moment. So once you start with the online certification, there are 22 bite-sized classes that you can walk through. Um, and then you can get, once your kit arrives, you will practice, practice, practice. And it's funny, my teenagers, they have been hearing me say this for so many years. They, um, my stepdaughters are say practice, 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 because it's like ingrained in their head. So it's kind of the joke around our house. Um, but I want you to practice because like I told you, I was terrible in the beginning and now by practicing and, and really mastering this craft, um, it's like second nature to me. So you will complete um, an online exam. If you've been paying attention to the videos, it should be a piece of cake. And then when you're ready, you're gonna submit a video of yourself. Cause again, we don't have a hands-on class that we can review your skills. You're gonna submit your online videos to us. We will review them. If you have any questions, we are all here for you. And our goal is to make sure that you are amazing practitioners by reopen time, okay? So, once you are done with the videos, you've taken the exam, you've been practicing. If you have a teenager, you can do eyebrows. Maybe your husband will let you borrow his back. Don't sugar the dog or the cat, <laughs> um, but sugar any, your knuckles, anything that you can get your hands on. While you are home, you can listen to the Sugar Show podcast. We have the Sugar Tribe Facebook community to keep supporting you and loving on you. And then we will be announcing the hands-on training that you can get in the training facilities at both Alexander's Aesthetics locations. And then it is time to reopen and book those clients because we got this. And I know with all of my heart that this will actually be something that you can bring into your practice that can just help you get up and over the top. So Tiffany, take it away. Let's talk about Sugar of the Nile and the products that you have available. All right, so here we've got two different kits that we provide that we already put together for you in house at Alexander's that we can ship out. Um, the Sugar of the Nile, the comprehensive kit, that comes with everything that you need. So we've got your nitro gloves, which you need nitro gloves for sugaring. It comes with your pre-post products. So there's the cleanser, there is a powder, there's a wonderful after lotion um, to be used as well. And then that does come with your wax heater, your wax heater, your paste heater. See, I'm a waxer still too, guys. Did just you just say know. wax? <laughs> I did. You I do see heater, it's an immediate reaction out of my face. I know, it's so crazy. Um, your sugar heater, you cannot, to be honest with you, you cannot use your wax heater for your paste. Everyone's going to ask that question. You're not going to be able to do it. The I, I love my wax pot, but it, it will disintegrate your paste. It does not need to be hot. So yeah. that, like Shannon had already said, it this just warms it really so you can get out of the canister, but it's not uh, a necessity. And then it does come with one great jar of paste. It comes with the island paste yeah shannon's got one I it's great to it's show digital you, um, so really quick on that warmer as you can see i just unplugged mine so that i could show it to you on my screen i have my hands inside of this it is practically room temperature you can even put your client's hand inside of this and help them to understand that it's not going to ever get too hot and the lowest setting on a wax heater is actually too warm for sugar which is yeah. why 
we can't use it. But I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful warmer that they all have. And it's, it really is at room temperature, even it doesn't almost feel like it's on. Yeah. If you need to warm up your hands, stick them in the heater. <laughs> Just Sometimes I'll do that, but it's really, yeah, really right. light. Um, and then the second one, so this is one of the ones that you can actually, if you wanted to order it now, this is a good one to start with because it's true basics. Um, and you legitimately can just sit on your couch. That's what I do when I need to sugar my own legs. I will sit on my couch, watch TV and sugar away. Um, so this, the second sugar, the basic kit is your nitro gloves, your island paste, and then it comes with your cleanser and your powder. Now this particular pre-cleanser is so great it's going to last you forever so uh if you get this one as well if you get this kit you don't need to order a new cleanser for quite some time or powder to be honest with you um, we do carry gloves and sticks and strips and all of those great things so you absolutely can order more gloves if you need to to start with as well so these aren't the only things to to order in the very beginning you can definitely order a few more things if you want. I have a slide for that. <laughs> uh, let's talk about some of the other products that you have um, that I think are must haves. You will see me using this vinyl pad. I call it a sugar mat in my training, um, but I absolutely love this mat. Do you want to chat this about that a little bit? Great. Like it's an all around great mat. So if you do still wax as well, uh, this is what I have on my bed. So any hair removal, let's put it that way, it's great on top of your bed because it. I, when I do facials as well, it still yep. protects my comforter and my sheets and all of that stuff. Granted, paste comes off way easier, but this vinyl pad, it also will help reduce some of your waste because you don't have to have paper down with it because this you can clean and sanitize uh, in between each of your clients, which is what we, uh, Shannon and I do. So it's really easy. Again, it's going to be less waste for you. It's one purchase and then it's just cleaning it off, which is really simple. I want to say it's $45. So 45, you know, best money I'll spend forever. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and it helps to really turn your table around, right? To quickly clean, get everything ready and move on. You don't have a lot of garbage, like you said, like a lot of waste. And then the Ambigon. So this is a great ingrown solution. I call it a potion. Uh, this one is a gel base. So a little bit goes a very long way. So you can use it right after your treatment. This is a great retail item as well. I actually sell a lot of it to my male clients. Uh, for those that have challenges, yeah, in their beard area when they get ingrowns and irritation, it really helps to reduce that. But I do like this one because it's a gel, so it dries super fast. You're not dealing with a lot of other hodgepodge things. You just can slap it on daily. It's not overly aggressive either because a lot of them I find that they're so heavy in salicylic, which I love, but they're so heavy in salicylic, they're so dehydrating. This one is that great, I think, medium. Use it every other day for your clients. Again, it's a great retail item. So that's another great add-on. Mm -hmm. My favorite. And then Shannon's definite favorite here. I also love this one. To be honest, this is one of those things. These are the items that we, it's kind of the 911 kit for all things. <laughs> Uh, we were having a hail and hush uh, webinar earlier today and the relief bio powder is hands down. It's the thing that's always with me, especially now, because you can mix it into a nice little paste. It's so helpful to reduce redness, any kind of irritation. When that you do that lip, you sugar the lip and they're super red either way because some of your clients, you look at them and they're automatically red. The relief bio powder is awesome for that. And then the Hush Hydrate is really also very anti-inflammatory. So you can mix these two together. You can do one and then the other. The powder itself, a lot of times I'll mix it with the Hush Hydrate, put it on, and then I add a little bit more powder to help cover any extra redness if my client's going to go out, get coffee, whatever they were going to do after they saw me. Yeah, a little bit of this goes a long way. 
This is one of my favorite retail items too, to be honest with you, because again, this is one of those 911 products that to me, all of you, your clients should have. I travel, uh, I know Shannon travels, we travel a lot and that's always, that's always in my to-go bag with me because you just n never know. If you burn yourself, you cut yourself, whatever it is. Relief Bio Powder, that's, that's your end all 911 product. I, I will uh, even go farther to say that anyone who is on this webinar and watches the replay or whatever, anyone who is an esthetician or even cosmetologist or a parent even should have the duo in their treatment room. There's nothing else that you do today but order that duo. It literally is a game changer because it takes away redness, like you said, but it really does, right? It's not just, oh, this is calming. Like it really yeah. does. It is great for anyone and everyone. And I've done it where like I've burned my finger on a curling iron and I'm quick to grab my duo. Um, it is legit. And again, I don't work for Hale and Hush. I'm just giving you my, my legit testimonial, but I will <laughs> tell you that every single one of my treatment rooms has a giant pump. I actually had Chris make it into a, a pump, yeah. um, but it, they either have a tub or a pump in every single treatment room with a little bit of this bio powder. It looks like a tiny little jar, but a little goes a long way. And so you absolutely, if you're doing peels, waxing, sugaring, um, any sort of active facials, shoot, even sometimes a gentle wash will cause an irritation on their clients. And I'm really glad that you brought up the hail and hush, Tiffany, because we are going to see clients that are gonna have stressed out skin when we reopen that never maybe had stressed out skin before. So maybe you're gonna do a treatment on them. If you have this duo and they react to things they normally wouldn't react to, that Hail and Hush duo is phenomenal. And the whole Hail and Lush, Hush line <laughs> um, really can give you the, the tools in your tool belt to make sure that even the really stressed skin we're going to see when we come back, you have a solution for that. So I'll get off my soapbox, but I love me some, <laughs> I love me some Hale and Hush duo. <laughs> Anything more on that, Tiff? Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get down to it because I want to get to your questions, and I know Tiffany does too because we love to talk to each other, but even more than that, we love to talk to you. <laughs> we do. We uh, talk to each other enough. <laughs> I know, right? So, okay, so what we have done is created an entire industry group that we've invited the sugar companies, we've invited the marketing gurus, we've invited the business savvy um, professionals in to help all of you. So any questions that you have, it is only a private group just to protect ourselves from crazy folks and different countries who have ill will. Um, but besides that, it's a, it's a free Facebook online support group where you can ask all of your questions if you forget one today or we don't get to your questions. Um, as well, if you're already certified and you're already using Sugar of the Nile and you wanna see what else we have, we have um, our coaching group that's online. It's all the advanced classes. So you can learn now. And then when we're done and we can get back into that training facility, Tiffany, I know is ready to get up and running with uh, your hands-on classes and you'll be ready, ready to go soon. As soon as we open back up, huh, Tiffany? Yep. Absolutely. I might make a cameo appearance too. <gasps> Yay. I love it. Okay. So the other thing is I want you to, um, we've started a podcast for those people that right now, a lot of people are getting outside and walking their dog and trying to just feel some fresh air and, and, and educate themselves. So the sugar show is actually um, a sugaring podcast, as you can imagine, but we bring in industry professionals. In fact, the owners of sugar of the Nile will be on the next podcast. And so you can hear for yourself how they started the company and what their philosophies are. It's an amazing, amazing um, team that is there. And I'm really glad, Tiffany, that you all and Wendy, that you all brought them on. And C, we love our C. She's not on, but um, I just love that you have brought on Sugar of the Now. So they will be on the podcast as well. So stay tuned for that. Okay, this is the part. Take it away. Dun, Questions. Dun, dun, dun. Question. So dun, dun. Wendy's going to pop back in here. Perfect. And she is going Coming to in. facilitate. The questions. There you are. I, I am. can't see either of you. Oh. Hmm. I can see everybody. I'm sharing my screen, so maybe I need. Oh, there we are. 
that's i feel like that is what happens yeah oh i am need to stop showing my screen okay <laughs> i am just gonna go over really quick where everyone's from because i think that's kind of fun i really enjoy this so we got colorado california texas uh richmond bc montana virginia ohio vallejo san jose a lot of california san francisco a tempe arizona arizona boise um idaho arvada colorado that's right down the street from me cool. Bronx, new york um, montana um we have someone from canada here she was asking about purchasing a kit from canada i told her we'd get her in touch with uh sugar of the nile to get that out to her oh yeah perfect so all right questions uh do we clean the skin before sugaring and how to clean the skin first tiffany take it away you know your products yeah we do uh you're gonna clean you're always gonna clean the skin no matter what kind of hair removal you're doing their sugar of the nile has a great skin cleanser it is has antibacterial properties in there it's a nice soothing cleanser though so you're not going to feel as though the skin kind of gets sucked dry necessarily now just to help clarify as well the difference between waxing and sugaring is when we're sugaring we need the skin clean and dry right so a lot of us will use oil prior to our waxing with sugaring we actually need to use powder so that's going to help make sure that the skin is clean and dry so we do cleanse the skin then we use a little bit of powder and then you can go ahead and use the sugar and remove the hair so yeah what, always always cleanse what's really nice is it's really very simple it's that simple cleanse simple powder a little bit of sugar to do the trick and then your beautiful hydrating lotion to finish up done so not a lot that's required to reorder and reorder all the time which is which is nice right okay so we have a few questions here i'm just going to um, bunch them into one a few questions about the kits um so the kits are not part of the course cost you buy the kits after you sign up and the basic kit is 65 and the comprehensive kit is 225 so just wanted to answer that because that came in a couple times and i wasn't sure tiff if you knew the prices of those so no, I'm I, not wanna, gonna... I wanna jump in here and let you all know how special this is. So normally basic body sugar certification is $479. And we all got together in this time and said, how can we make sure that the masses are trained? And so for this shelter in place time, as long as we are at home, my contribution is to take that $479 and it's only $99. It's not to lessen what we do. There's not any less in the program than what you would get for that original price. This is me as a gift to Alexander's um, uh, customers and also to the industry. Not to pat myself on the back, but to understand that this is a very special time. I want you to learn. I want you to learn with amazing products like Sugar of the Nile. So that $479 class, I want you to get the kit. I want you to be able to certify. And that's why the kit is separate from the training. Perfect. Thanks, Shannon. Yep. Um, we had a couple people that are local, some in Colorado, some in California, that are asking about our stores closing to walk-ins and how they can get the kit. So let me just address the logistics of our current situation, because um, Boulder County and the areas just went into shelter in place here as well. So um, because we are a family business, um, we can still come into the office because we're either at home or we're in the office. But what we've done is we've closed down the stores to walk-ins and we do have the ability to do a curbside pickup. So we will put an order outside if you would like to come pick it up. No in-person contact. We're sorry we can't give everybody a hug right now, um, but we still have the option to do that if you don't wanna pay for shipping if it is the, the basic kit. So I wanted to make sure to address that for our local clients. Um, we have a student that's on. And she's wondering if she is a student, if she can still enroll in the class. 
Yes, 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 and yes. Awesome. Please, any students, share it with your friends. Share the link with your friends. We want you to be learning. This is for the whole beauty industry to have access to the sugar and to training. And then you will be certified because obviously you can't work on paying clients. You will be certified and you will get your physical certification as soon as you let us know that you have passed your tests. Yay. (laughs) And okay, so let's talk about that for a second really quick, Tiffany and Wendy. Let's talk about what an amazing opportunity. So when they come out of school, they'll finish their program and they'll be certified in sugaring or whatever else they learned while they were at home in this time, right? So now what an amazing resume to bring on an interview and say, why yes, spa owner, I am here to actually come back and I don't only know how to do facials, I know how to do this hair removal as well. What a great interview opportunity to be able to sell yourself when you get out and really set yourself apart from everyone else. It's it's a fabulous thing to build your resume and you have time to do that now. So you absolutely should. Um, the other thing that I will say on that note that I wanted to say when you were reading off all of those cities, mm-hmm. what an amazing opportunity to have this in your home. You know, you can, so if you're in Boise or in Poughkeepsie or in any of these places, we have students all over the world that take this course. Sugar of the Nile will send you the kit and you have it at your fingertips now at your house, right? So you can be learning, you can ask questions, you can order product if you need. And then when you're ready, you'll be able to come and take the hands-on classes in Colorado or California. And like, it's like a win-win for all. Plus you'll be smooth (laughs) because you'll be sugaring yourself at your house. (laughs) <laughs> you'll have no dead skin anywhere it'll be amazing because i'm telling you those legs are going to get scary <laughs> sorry uh, Go ahead. you're good you're funny <laughs> okay um if we buy the basic kit which does not have the warmer um how do we warm the sugar paste it doesn't th- this particular paste honestly i would this to be a Shannon may have a better idea, but I would put it in front of like a little heating vent or in your kitchen when you're making your breakfast or something like that. It just needs to be semi warm. It doesn't need to be hot at all. It doesn't need to be melted. You don't want it melted anyway. So it just needs to be warm ish enough that, I mean, if you take a warm shower, close the bathroom door, that'll create enough humidity that it'll be a little softer to get out. You don't, you don't keep the lid on though. If you do that. Yeah. Oh, God, honestly, yeah. what you Always can do, keep the lid on. Yep, because we don't want to get water in, in the sugar. But honestly, I'll tell you the trick. Pop it in for 10, 15 seconds in the microwave. It'll warm it just enough that you can play with it. You don't want it any more than about 10, 15 seconds. And it'll be uh, really at a consistency that you can play with it. And we take care of all of this for you in certification. We talk about all of this. So you're taken care of. Okay. Do you have to use nitro gloves? That's what's sold in the kit. Yes, and they need to be tight. Okay, so I only have the pink ones at my house. I love the pink ones. I have It's so weird. It's so weird to be like home. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about these gloves because when you order, I have giant hands. They look actually pretty <laughs> big on the screen. I have giant hands. I'm a big girl. Lord me to be a big girl for a reason. I got big shoulders and big hands so I can sugar it all. Okay. But you're going to use, I use extra small. You want them nice and tight. So they're like a second skin so that when you're sugaring, that sugar doesn't pull on the gloves. Okay. So you want them nice and tight. The girls will walk through that. Um, they'll find out what, what size hands you have. Um, and so work with, are your gloves, the blue ones that you have, Wendy, are they run on the small side? So if they have tiny hands, extra small they be fine. They don't necessarily run on the, the extra. I wear the extra small. I have tiny, tiny like hands, um, and I wear the extra small comfortably with the nitrile. I actually wear extra small nitro for all of my. So services. I'd probably be a small then with my yeah. giant paws. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, great. So that's great to know. So if you have teensy, teensy hands, then extra small, and if you have big old mitts like I do, then. Uh, then the the small is great, but nitrile actually the sugar um, won't adhere to it. So when you go to do your mold and flick, you can reuse that same ball over and over again, and and it um, and you won't have any reactions. You don't have to ask anyone if they have sensitivities, because everyone can handle the nitrile. 
Okay, great. All right, from Michelle St. Pierre, um, are sugar of the Nile pre and post care products cruelty free and free from major toxins, natural, et cetera? Yes, yes, they are. So we will go into all of the product knowledge during classes, but yeah, absolutely. We, um, the if you listen to the pot, you should totally listen to the podcast that Shannon's yeah. going to have with them on because they're actually a family owned business as well. I have, made myself part of the Alexander's family. So um, I'm not blood, but I'm technically family. Um, but they also, it's a husband and wife uh, that that run the, the Sugar of the Nile. And it was the wife's mother that actually started and made the, made the product itself. So they can go through all that. I highly recommend you listen to them. They're so fantastic. I love them. Um, it's a great yes, show. It is, I can't edit it fast enough. I'm trying to, yeah. you know, get all the <laughs> bubbles right and all that good stuff because I do it all myself. So, yeah, um, yeah I can't wait to share that with you. Products. They are great. They are cruelty free. They are good for the skin. All of those kinds of things. If you've ever heard me teach before, I'm not a very good liar. So if I didn't like it, you would know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, question from Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Um, I've heard before that sugaring causes really bad ingrowns. So hang with me because I'm. it's a long question. Um, is that true? Also, how can you and your clients feel like a vinyl pad is clean? For some reason, I feel weird putting my butt on something that just had someone else's butt on it, LOL, even if it's disinfected. Totally. We get that so question all the time. I'll take the butt question. <laughs> I love big butts and I cannot lie. Um, you actually don't have them put their butt on the mat. I actually use a medium hand towel for every single client. It is brand new and I lay that down and then the clients lay on that. So um, then we take a sanitizer. It's non-porous, that mat. So we sanitize every between every single client down where their feet are, all the way up to where their arms or back have been on the mat, but where their booty is at um, is actually a medium towel. So they're not chilly too, because those first clients in the morning, <laughs> you lay them down on a plain mat yeah. and yeah. Or if you have sweaty hot clients, like you don't want them sliding all over that thing. So anchor them down and we did we go over this in the training, but anchor them down with a nice medium hand towel and it's all good. Or for like the men, I'll use like a bigger, a bigger towel for them to lay on. Okay, awesome. And then the question about ingrowns. So the first oh, part so kind of back to the analogy, let me pull my carrot out. Um, so remember, we're pulling that whole hair out from the follicle, right? Where you have trouble with ingrowns is when A, they don't exfoliate, B, they don't hydrate and take care of that skin. So amazing retail opportunity for all of you and educational opportunity for you. But if we're snapping the hairs at the line of the, the follicle mouth, that's when you struggle with ingrown. So if you're snapping the hair out the wrong way, if you are um, tweezing, for example, so if you can tell your clients at home, please do not tweeze, step away from the tweezers and the magnifying mirror um, in this time that we're all sheltered, step away from that. But, you know, I said no when you were asking that question and I was shaking my head. No, we have no problems with ingrowns. Be really <laughs> honest with you. If you are not doing the technique properly, and you're pulling up or you're, like I said, you're not doing the mold and flick, absolutely you're gonna have ingrowns because you're not pulling the hair out in the proper direction and you're damaging that follicle, okay? And again, if you're not having someone properly use exfoliation and hydration, you get ingrowns. And you know, we have to be detectives at esthete as estheticians, right? You could be sugaring them perfectly. You, they could be exfoliating and hydrating, but they're picking. Oh no, I don't pick. <laughs> they pick, they tweeze and they don't admit to it. So there's always a reason why there's an ingrown and it's usually because we've been messing with those follicles. So if you can train your clients, if you can have them exfoliate and hydrate, which is very simple to do and have them come in regular, ingrowns, ingrowns are a breeze. I love that I got a butt question. I know. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Sophia, for the good laugh. Um, all right, how do you know when you need to pick up a new sugar in between body waxing? 
So maybe re, like get a new um, new ball of paste. New ball of paste when you're body waxing. I think that's the question, Kathy. If that's not the question, you can. Do you want to answer that, Tiff? I talk. I talk a lot. So. So. So when I when there's a couple of different ways I think to figure and decide that. One, if you have a client who isn't very good at exfoliating and hydrating at home, you're gonna see that paste get full of dead skin so fast that it's no longer going to allow you to actually mold anymore. It's gonna start to skip a little and it's gonna be a white mass in your hand. Um, that would that and then you'll actually see that it's not going to start really picking up any hair anymore because it's full of dead skin that's when you would throw that away and grab a new one or uh, the other times i would do it is if i am doing multiple body parts and i have a very fuzzy person then i may have to get a new ball in between or add i'll like cut it in half in my hand with a stick and then add new paste to the already used paste and switch it out a little bit that way. So I'm not throwing away the whole thing and new glove every time, um, but it will, you'll, you'll notice the pace will tell you pretty quickly, like, Hey, we're done now. There's too much in here. Uh, but it's, um, again, it kind of depends on each client, how much dead skin they have and how much hair they have. Some clients, I had one in particular that she didn't do anything for herself ever at home. So she had just dead skin with all the hair growing underneath it. So when I sugared her, I was like, yeah, I don't have four hours to do this with you, unfortunately, today. So we got all this wonderful dead skin off, but you still have all the hair because it's still underneath there. But I had to switch out my paste one or two times because it was just dead skin because she didn't exfoliate or hydrate at home. Yep. So back to the carrot, if that dead skin was sitting on here, what Tiffany means is the first time she sugared, it sugared off all that dead skin. And then she'd have to go back to get the actual hair. Right. Right. Yeah. And if they have a lot of hair, like I sugar some gorillas, mm -hmm. <laughs> I've had to use multiple balls of paste yeah. on some of those male backs. Um, but I will tell you that like bikinis, I just sugar bikini. If I'm going to go on to a different body part, I get a no, okay. new glove and a new ball of sugar. Yeah. If that answers the other question. I'm sure that's, yeah, that's a, I mean, that's always a good point to bring up too. You never, like, you don't share underarms with face, obviously. You don't share Brazilian, you never know. I like to say it because, you know, uh, but just, just, to, just to make sure we covered it. Um, but you, like, and I, if we have, if I have a multiple, Shannon probably does the same thing. If I have multiple body parts and a Brazilian is one of them, I knock that out first and then I can do the rest of the body with generally the same ball of paste if it's face underarms brazilian kind of thing right so you do brazilian throw that away face and then underarms throw that away my my best uh move is i'll finish my brazilian and they love it so much they're like "Ooh, could you do my lip too and i've got a ball full of dead hair and <laughs> brazilian or dead ha uh, brazilian hair and skin and i hold up the ball and i'm like probably should get a fresh ball you think and they're like oh god please <laughs> You can have fun with this. I'm telling you. Yeah. And you know what's really neat about about this is I have a captive audience. As you can imagine, I am not shy when I sugar. I'm not shy on these webinars. But you have a captive audience, right? So I might be sugaring someone. So when we come back and we reopen and my clients come back in the door, I'm going to be sugaring them and being like, "All right, girl, what is going on with your skin? Your skin's freaking out. Do you need a little calming serum. Do you need, how are you doing? You haven't exfoliated in, in weeks. You need a little, you know, you need some of our jojoba scrub or whatever it is that we have. How are you, how are your lips? Are they dry? I can have those conversations while I'm sugaring them. They're having a laugh. We're, we're enjoying each other's company and I'm having this nice dialogue with them. You can sell the retail that they need to kind of get them back on track from being home for so long. So great opportunity to not only remove hair and have them happy with you, but also to sell them product as well. Thank you, ladies. Um, we're getting a lot of questions about the certification program. How do they enroll? All that kind of stuff. So I wanted to just address that in the chat window. I think you can all see that. I put a couple links in here. We have a link directly from the Alexander's Aesthetics 
website on how to enroll in the class for the $99 basic certification. Um, if you enroll through the Alexander's Aesthetics website, that'll be great because then we can capture where you came from and make sure you get the support from, um, from us as well as um, Love to Sugar. Um, I also put in, there are a lot of questions about links, so I went ahead and put in, uh, I'm sorry, not links, kits. So I put in a link to the kits in the chat box as well. So that kind of takes care of a lot of those questions. Um, so I wanted to get a couple of those. Uh, all right, here's a- As soon, Wendy, um, I wanted to just pop in there. As soon as the restrictions are lifted and we are all allowed to go back to work, we will be letting you all know and that $99 will go away. That's yeah. really just been a gift to the industry to be able to get everyone in, but that will end and we will let you know in time, but it is gonna end. So for some crazy reason, it's next week or Easter or whatever it is, we will let you all know, but that 99 will end, it'll go back to the, the original price. Right, good point. Um, all right, um, there was a good question. Do re, Will the students receive a certificate after the training? Yep, absolutely. So we will um, make sure that you know how to do your mold and flip properly. We are not gonna leave you behind where um, you know, you're not really doing it so well and we just send you a certificate. We wanna make sure that you know how to do it. You'll hear from myself, you'll hear, hear from my team. We go back and forth via Skype. If you just can't get it, like we are here for you. And then when you're done, we give you a certificate and you can present it to uh, Sugar of the Nile and they will know that you can order your supplies from them because you need to be a student or a licensed esthetician or cosmetologist uh, in order to, to Sugar on folks and um, you need to be certified in order to purchase the products. Um, a little bit about pricing. How does sugar pricing differ from waxing? Um, do you charge more, less, the same? Uh, Brazilians would be great to know what you guys do for that. I don't, I, I don't necessarily charge more for sugaring. Uh, you could, that's definitely not uh, something to be opposed to, especially if you're one of the few. I'm kind of one of the few in the area. I get a lot of people who are like, nobody sugars. I'm like, I know it's too bad, right? Um, I, I charge the same price for both, to be honest. Uh, I charge based more on if you're a pain in the butt or not. So if you're harder, <laughs> you take longer, all of those things, that's kind of how I, I charge my basic, uh, my like bottom price Brazilian is 65. And you're in the Bay area, but, which is a little bit yeah. higher price point anyway, just to let you know. Right. Yep. For those of you that are, um, that are pricing your products, um, I, Highly suggest that you take a look at um, your cost per service in general, whether you're doing facials or um, or sugaring or waxing. Um, we are we have prices. We have first time price because the first time they come back, ooh, we are going to have some fuzzy humans on our tables, my friends. They are going to need you. Um, second maintenance, I always I charge less to encourage them they have to come in four weeks if they come five weeks or more because maybe they forgot life happened uh we charge a middle price so we are 85 for first time we are 55 for maintenance and 65 for if they just let, let it go another couple of weeks say um and we get it people didn't even think twice about it because they're happy to have great smoother results um they get off the table they're like wow that wasn't as bad as i thought they throw on their clothes and they're off to their day and they're not feeling like They've it was been assaulted. <laughs> they don't feel traumatized for sure okay good. <laughs> if you learn the right way they won't feel traumatized yeah, there you go, yeah. <laughs> um all right what there's a few questions about exfoliation what is the best way to exfoliate and some products that you would recommend for exfoliation after care your questions about I that. Mean, the possibilities on that, to be honest, are kind of endless. I really, personally, I base what I tell my clients to do on that particular client. Some clients I can't get to use scrubs, so I have them use a dry brush, which works so well for them, right? So it really kind of depends. Any body scrubs are great if they are a loofah body wash person. Just make sure that the body wash is appropriate, that you like it. Um, 
And then again, your ingrown potions, like the in be gone is great for at home ingrown things, whatever body products you like, that's what you want to retail. I'm not going to necessarily get into what I totally sell. Um, Cause again, it's really going to be based on your client, what they're willing to do and what you want to stock on your shelves. Wendy, do you have any body scrubs that you have at Alexander's? We do. Mm -hmm. We sure do. I'll put a link. So I'm kind of filling up the chat side with a few links. Um, <laughs> one for the, the wax pad. So you can see that. We also have some very nice um, towels that we sell as well to put. Um, yeah, like our on. microfiber towels are great. Yep. Those work so really we well. Uh, we are here. having a webinar tomorrow with Lycon, but Lycon has some really great scrubs and lotions as well for home care. Sugar of the Nile thereafter lotion is great. It also comes in a retail size. So mm -hmm. you can you can bundle that together. I, my, I like to bundle things. I don't know why I'm a bundler, but I am when it comes to things like this. Put your ingrown solution in, put your lotion. And if you have a body wash like on, I go back to like on because that's what we have. It's a great wash. Uh, you can blend, bundle those together especially now when they come in for their, for if they've never been sugared, here's an after sugaring kit that's 15% off. That way that can start to boost your retail sales when you get back in as well. Uh, and none of these products are, uh, I think that they're priced well anyway, retail wise. So you're not gonna kind of shrink your not growing quite yet bank account, your your business bank account with getting these so you can, you know, again, bundle those up and sell them a little discounted. Yeah, I always okay. have my clients exfoliate mm, two to three times a week, depending on the area, depending on um, the, the time. It's winter right now. Um, so keeping that dry skin off, especially some of those folks that are in Arizona and um, gosh, there's a couple other states that are super notoriously super dry, Vegas, Nevada, um, is usually dry. And then I like you to, um, I like my clients to use, uh, I love the sugar of the Nile lotion, something that is very light yet hydrating. So none of that bath and body works, cherry blossom, fragrancy garbage on their skin, because, you know, we can clog the pores, cause those ingrown hairs that you are concerned about. So we're not going to want to do that. Just a real light water-based lotion to keep the skin nice and hydrated. Um, will be huge. Dry brushing is awesome. Uh, loofahs, if you do the loofahs, you have to educate them that they have to toss them. Because a lot of times people say, I'm exfoliating all the time. And I'm like, hmm, okay, detective in me says, well, what are you using? They're like, well, I use a loofah. How long have you had it? Oh, a couple of months. That's why they're getting ingrowns and that's why they're getting breakouts is because they're putting bacteria on that skin. So tossing that loofah every couple of weeks for sure. Okay. Um, it's after four. Are we okay still going with questions or should we, do we want to? If you have them, yeah. There's I mean, oh, I got a lot of people. On, I love how many people we have time. The <laughs> we have time. <laughs> All right. Any questions? You have, we have a captive audience now. And just to let everybody know that's on, if you need to drop off, this is being recorded. So you can, it will be posted um, probably tomorrow. So if you want to go back and listen to the questions, you can get that recording and just fast forward to the end and hear the questions if you need to drop off. I just wanted to throw that out. Um, all right. Hang out. We're fun. <laughs> and you yeah. have nothing else to do because you've been in your house. Right. <laughs> How long does the hair have to be for sugaring and what is considered too long? Me? You? Go for it. Okay. So, um, I always chuckle because people, um, I've seen different things in different presentations, you know, an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch. And I'm thinking, well, how much is that? You know, I usually tell people about a grain of rice. I don't know what long grain or jasmine or whatever type of rice <laughs> makes your heart happy. Yeah, yeah. But, but if we have something to work with, that helps. Um, we can sugar out, remember that carrot, we can sugar out, even if there's a tiny little bit of hair up here, we can pack that down. And, you know, sometimes clients that come in, depends on hair growth, sometimes clients that come in, I don't know, a week after they've shaved and they're like, it's time for me to sugar. Sometimes they can get those hairs out. But if they have, remember that onion, if they have that giant bulb underneath, 
that's the struggle. So we, if, if they, if they have nice little thin scallion hairs, then we don't need a lot of growth. So we can do them every three weeks, every four weeks, if there's somebody that can't stand having hair. But if we educate them that it's about getting that bulb to get down to a scall scallion, that's when we can slide that hair out easier and we don't need a lot of hair. Now on the other side of this, if they come into you and they are giant jungle bush, <laughs> some people come in and they literally have not trimmed their entire life and they want huh? me to do a full Brazilian. Yep. I do not trim. They go home and trim and they come back. Okay. But I will tell you that we're going to get a lot of big bush when they come in, uh, in the next little bit. And I will tell you that if the hair is too long, so you see all this, say there was a bunch of hair right here, right? You're gonna sugar, if, if you're spending time sugaring all that long hair, you're not able to get down to the mouth of the follicle and sugar that as easily, okay? So it behooves them to whack back all the hedges, get down to about a, a grain of rice, like a, a guard two on their trimmer. In fact, on your social media, if you are someone who does sugar already, have them um, just keep their hair trimmed. Try not to shave it if they can and just keep their hair trimmed. That way you can get down to the mouth of that follicle. So I'd say about grain of rice is easy for people to remember. And uh, if they have a full 70s um, situation strapaganza for you to work with, I would <laughs> say have them trim it before they come in. <laughs> so you can trim it. I do trim in my office because I do have a lot of male clients as well. So mm -hmm. uh, you have to organize all of that for them because they they're like, I don't know what to do with this. Mm -hmm. So I do, I will trim it down if it's too long. Uh, that way it just, it makes it easier. Plus if they're not going to take everything off, then I make it neat and the whole thing neat and tidy. Um, but that's, that's what I do. Wendy's hey. trying to process all these questions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell? Uh, all right. A, lot, a few questions about the training again. I think there might be a little confusion that they think uh, some people might think you have to do an online port hands on portion after you do the um, so let's just talk that. Um, talk okay, about. so the online class is separate and that is designed with the with the 22 classes for you to learn theory room setup body mechanics technique and then uh, the body parts i'll answer that question because i'm sure that's coming is the full face underarms arms leg legs and basic bikini did i say back and chest no um so the basics the goal is to the, the goal of it is to get you to understand how to mold and flick i'm telling you getting out of the getting it out of the jar in the beginning is hard enough as it is so we teach you the basics you take the exam and you send us a video to show us that you can mold and flick properly you're not going to wipe it on you're going to use your proper technique when that is done, you become certified so you can order more product and keep practicing. And then when we're able to get back into the to the hands-on treatment room or training room, that's when you can come in for your hands-on training. So they're completely separate, but we don't want you to think that you you won't have access to ha hands-on training. The only reason why you don't is because none of us can leave our homes. So that's where that is. So no, it's, you, you are able to fun. certify without getting hands-on trained. Yeah. You would be certified once you went through the online with Shannon, you would be certified. And yep. then we would, we will eventually hold small seminars, Shannon, us to all together, uh, hour or two, just so you can come in and play around a little bit. Alexander's, we do teach a hands-on course. So if you are having a hard time that is separate. So if you wanted to come in and physically only do it physically, you can come into Alexander's when we're back on back on track and you can do the class uh, either in Colorado or out in California here with me. Yeah. And if you're someone who's a rock star and you're skipping through this training and you're really getting the handle of it and you're good and you finish and you do your certification and we're not, you know, the shelter in place is not lifted yet, jump into our coaching group. And I have Brazilians, pregnant bellies, men's chests and backs. I have coaching sessions. I have business classes. I have all kinds of marketing. And I have Chris Campbell on there. Chris Campbell teaches two master classes inside our coaching group. 
Um, and all this can be found on Love to Sugar, but she teaches a masterclass on sensitive skin and also on your consultation form and what to make sure you have on it. Um, Marag Curran teaches about uh, oncology skincare and sugaring. Um, there's just a, a host of videos in that library. If you are an online learner and you're just hungry for more, we have that. And then the perfection classes, hands-on, you should do forever just because we should always get better in what we do. So um, we kind of have you covered for before. All over. <laughs> before the res restrictions are lifted and after. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, a few questions about the different pace. The questions about different color and pace from Deanna. And we had a question earlier about the different um, consistency in the different pace, hard versus soft. So if what you, um, probably Tiffany maybe want to address the. So different the different paste. paste is it's it's going to be based on I kind of based on body part to start. Paste is a little bit more finicky as far as what you're going to choose because you need to consider your body temperature because you're physically holding it your client's body temperature, because when it touches them, the paste can melt, right? It's water soluble. It can melt and just vanish and roll right off your client. So when you're, let's say, I'll give you the example. My hands are free. Like right now my hands are freezing. I'm sweating personally, but my hands are cold. So because my hands are always cold, I will gear a little bit more towards a softer paste because, or um, uh, yeah, a softer paste because the coldness of my hand will firm it up a little bit more. If my client is really warm though, then I, my hand will eventually, it will eventually soften up a little bit more. So the warmth of your client, the warmth of you are, is gonna decide, is gonna be your deciding factor on whether to use a softer or a more firm paste. So an example for body part wise, you're gonna use a firmer paste for underarms Brazilians because that's always an area that's gonna perspire, that's gonna be warmer in general. So you need that paste to be firmer to start. Otherwise, again, it's just gonna melt right off and you're not gonna get any actual action from the paste itself. When you're dealing with larger body parts, a lot of times you can get away with a softer paste because it needs to go farther. So when you're doing a leg, a back, chest, you need it to flow farther than with brows and lip and face necessarily, right? So your firmer pastes are gonna be more for the, the warmer areas, the, the colder eye tent or the warmer person, that's your firmer paste. Your softer paste is for the larger spots or if you're kind of cooler, uh, your own hand is generally cooler. That's how you're going to decipher. It's this is a trial and error thing for you. I change my pace for weather because my office itself starts out 30 degrees in the morning. It's freezing, and I'm in Northern California, so that tells you something. Um, so I tend to need a softer pace if my first client's a, a I'm sugaring because if I don't if I have too firm of a paste, it's just going to be hard in my hand because the room is too cold to start. So you're, you're gonna vary it a little bit. And you can mix them together, that's kind of the fun thing. So I always have a jar of soft, because if I start, if I need a harder paste, but I needed a little bit, a little bit more movement, I add a little bit of soft of paste in my hand on top of that firmer paste, mix those together, and then I can start working. So that was a very long-winded answer. It, it, it kind of depends on a multitude of things. And we'll walk you through that as well in any of the trainings that you that you take. One of the things I will add, you asked about color, I think. Um, you're going to see in different trainings and different, you know, um, things that you see online, you're going to see kind of lighter paste, people demonstrating with lighter paste, people demonstrating with deeper paste deep, and color. They're kind of range in like a champagne-y color to like a darker amber and then everything in between with different companies. And a lot, and that is the way that they make the formulas. So it depends on the type of sugar they use. It depends on whether they use citric acid or lemon juice. It depends on uh, the, the amount of time they cook it. So it really depends on the recipe. Kind of like if you make a cake, it's gonna come out different ways based on the actual ingredients that you use. If you use, you know, organic eggs versus, you know, regular eggs or whatever, you know, um, 
that's why pace look different. They're not wrong. They're just different. So you'll, you will see that on, you're going to be seeing a lot online if you haven't already, and you'll see a lot of that. So um, that's where the different colors come from. All right. How long is the training? How long does it take to get trained? As long as it takes you. So if you are, you are a captive audience at home and you got all kinds of time, you can devote yourself to it. I mean, it's, it's 22 short videos. It sounds like a lot, but it really is like, I broke it up so you could easily go to eyebrows, lip, you know, chin. So it's really easy to follow. Um, and it's really your learning pace, which is nice if you think about it. Cause what I find is I'm a, I'm a fast mover. And if there was anybody slow that was in class with me, Ugh, I would be like, come on, let's go. You know, like, let's move faster. I want this class to move faster. But if you're somebody who really needs to process and that hand-eye coordination you're not quite getting, or you just didn't hear what the instructor said, you can always rewind me. <laughs> I guess we don't rewind, we just push back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I totally dated myself. Um, <laughs> but really you can say, the future. she say again? Or if you didn't, maybe you've been practicing faces a lot and you're like, okay, what did she say about ankles? You can go specifically to the leg class and learn more about legs and ankles and knees and all that kind of stuff. Um, where I found that sometimes in when I'm in class, I'll be like, God, what did she say about the legs? I don't remember. Um, so this is a nice compliment. And then by the time, so it, it could take you a, a couple of days. It could take you a couple of months. It depends on how much you put into it. It could, it could take one day because we have all kinds of time. <laughs> Um, but when you, by the time you get to Tiffany, if you take a hands-on class, you will have learned all of those things and then you'll be really ready to perfect your skills in that hands-on class. So that's the key is to be, you know, learning all of this now. So when you get out, you're ready and you're ready to take the next level. Okay. Do you do online training for male Brazilians? Uh, not in the basic certification and there is not a class in the advanced, um, coaching group. We do that as a live coaching. Yeah, we, we, we go back and forth so much about Brazilians and trying to do online education with it, but that's just one of those trickier areas that it's not as tricky as you think, but it's definitely one of those, especially with pace, when you're learning a new skill, that's definitely one that it, you physically want to be there with the instructor to do. It does make it easier for you to learn because we can adjust what you're doing while you're doing it. Um, so we, we've had a ton of discussions on whether or not to do webinars for it, and we've kind of gone into the no category just because that it gets a little bit too tricky to try to describe explain and show because like anything else models are always just a challenge in general to to get for that kind of situation um plus two you really want to make sure with it, it doesn't matter which hair removal you're choosing in life you want to make sure you know your product you know how to use it before you jump into those those body parts I think. Yeah. So basic certification is just basic bikini because you really, and you'll see when you start to learn, you really need to get that mold and flick down before you do it anything advanced. So to skip to a Brazilian is, is it's like trying to learn to ride a bike and jumping on a Ducati, you know, like, you know, it's like, slow down tiger. Let's start with the bike. Yeah. You know? <laughs> okay. What about people that have been previously certified by other sugaring companies what would you recommend do they need to be recertified through no, they have certifications it's yeah i mean if you feel like you need uh some more education then yeah sign up talk to us chat with us i would join if i were you and you already are certified i would join uh, everything that love to sugar has to offer the online stuff because that way then you can stay connected and you can still continue the learning without necessarily having to take a whole new kit yeah of absolutely jump into the free community right now if you haven't already the it's a facebook group you'll answer three questions very simple jump into that jump onto the sugar show and listen to the different companies and what they have to offer and the different uh gurus um 
jump into the coaching group and let me analyze your skills for you. That's fine. When we're able to jump into one of the hands-on classes and perfect your skills, it basically just wherever you're at, um, but physically having a certification from one of the professional sugaring companies, um, Alexander's will accept that. Now I'm going to be really clear here. Be careful because there are going to be a lot of people that pop up and say, oh yeah, I teach sugar because they're going to be desperate to try to make money. You need to make sure that your certification is out of a professional company like myself, like Sugar of the Nile, so that you protect yourself, you protect your clients, and you provide the proper technique and 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 service for your clients um or your it's not going to be good for anyone so um yeah so if you have certified from a friend i highly recommend you get the proper certification in this way um a few people i think maybe if we're on phones they're not seeing the chat box where i put all the links so i just want to let everybody know that I will be doing a follow-up email with all the links on how to register, where to buy the kits, the wax pad, sugar pad, the towels, all that. We'll go ahead and send that in email after to all of the attendees so everybody has that. All right, a question about, from Megan, question about long nails. Does having long nails cause difficulty when applying the sugar? What is a good length? Oh my gosh, I'm literally gonna look like Cruella DeVille or something by the time I'm done. I gotta suck these suckers off. Like this whole, I love the dip, but oh man, I can sugar with long nails. I've been sugaring for a really long time. You end up using kind of the pad. Let me put my hand here properly. You end up kind of using the pad, you know, of your fingertips um, and you're wearing a glove. So I, I joke, I was taking the sugar off of my, just totally not like right for right now with all this, germ stuff going around but um i would dig and sugar out of my nails else. you're wearing yeah. gloves every time so it really kind of depends on you know if you are a master of long nails and you're not going to puncture those gloves how about it nail up but you're going to glove every time so that's all right um but i just get to a place like where i start tick, 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 tick on the keyboard and you know it doesn't affect my sugaring but that's again you're wearing gloves all the time so but if you are a master with your nails then <laughs> or you know what's crazy i was told i have mom nails because i have this square round <laughs> i didn't know that was a mom nail thing i never like that so too. those people that have like the almond or the coffin or whatever i'm learning this now because we have a manicurist in my shop but if you have those like really pointy ones that look like you could like make a shish kebab you know <laughs> with your nails where <laughs> you could like poke someone's eye out i don't think <laughs> that those are good to sugar with because you're going to puncture the gloves. But, um, you know, I don't know how you do a lot of things with those nails, but then again, I'm, mom. <laughs> I'm crazy mom nails. <laughs> um, okay. Another question, um, for someone that is going back to work when all of this blows over, which it will with any, with a new skill of sugaring, do you have any marketing tips? Oh, just tell people you're doing it keyword the wazoo out of it let people know hey we're sugaring we're sugaring we're sugaring i'm telling you if you just get people to sugar they are going to love it they're going to be like wow she's sugaring that's awesome this is great have them tell their friends referral is the best word of mouth is the best i'm promising you it absolutely changed my business the moment i put sugar i'm like the only one in the Sacramento re up in the Folsom area that sugars and people come from 45 an hour, 45 minutes, an hour away to come get sugared by us. I want to teach more people here how to do it. Cause there's only so much chins to go around. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm telling you, you, I, I don't even advertise. I just put, I just put out there some pretty pictures of sugar and let everybody know that's what I'm doing. And they come. And we yeah, have if you just put books. it on your website, yeah, it'll, people will search their you know area what? and sugaring yep. and that's how everyone found your Insta. me. I didn't make a big deal of it. Yeah. So it, all you I gotta do is put it on your Insta and put it on like a little email blast. If you do email blast to your people, Hey, I've been sugaring since I've been home, I'm ready to show you and give them all the benefits and you'll get all the benefits in the, in the class. Um, the, the other thing I do for my current clientele 
is what I did when I first brought sugaring in is I would, when they came in for their wax appointment, I'd wax whatever body part I was doing, I'd wax one side of it and I'd sugar the other side because they can decide which one they like better, but it also allowed them to know, hey, you're doing something different. Oh, my friend told me about that. My friend told me I should do it. Oh, I have a friend that's been looking for someone that does that. There you go. So that way, one, I was practicing nicely on my clients. That way it wasn't, I wasn't taking more time in my services when I was first learning how. I was showing my clients that I was doing it, but I was still time efficient, right? So it it kind of is the best of all the things. It's showing your your existing clientele that you're doing it. It's letting them tell their friends that you're doing it. And then again, once it's on your website somewhere, they're gonna find you. Yeah, for sure. It I'm telling you, when we get out of this, they are gonna be so hairy and ready for their roots to be done their nails to be done and their hair to be removed. It's going to be the first thing they do when they come out their front door, get me to my girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll get back into, you know, getting the facials back on and stuff. But the thing they're going to need the most is, is the be cleaned up for sure. Okay. What about memberships? Do you uh, recommend memberships? And if so, do you, you think you should space it out four or six weeks? Do you have memberships, I'm, Tiffany? No, I'm not a membership person. I'm, I, I vary it based on on clients. To be honest, I don't have the patience to keep track of things like that. Um, so I don't. I, really I don't think it's a bad idea, but I don't personally do it. I don't need them. My clients do not miss. They it's almost like an honorary membership. My clients do not miss their appointment every four to five weeks, depending on their hair. Some come every three weeks. They do not miss their appointment and they book before they leave. It's almost like a membership. I can count on that salary. Now I can add facials. I can add other things. I can add retail and all of that. But that hair removal client will not miss their appointment with you. And it is sure money. So I don't need memberships. My staff does not need memberships because they just come in consistently. True story. You also don't want to discount heavily. Uh, I mean, you, you're you're probably going to need to do a, a new discount or a welcome back discount if you need to do things like that. Absolutely, but I don't. I'm not a big believer in really discounting too much. And when you're doing a membership, it's generally there's a percentage off type of thing, which again, not a bad idea. But maybe you do a beginner membership and it's like three services, not six or 10 or 12 or something like that. You, you make it so that they're consistent for their first like two or three months and then that's it. And then they here's the thing regular. with that discounting with say Brazilians, right? They want to come in and get their bikinis done. They want them done. They want them smooth. I don't need to discount that. Don't ever discount what you do. If anything, you might say, hey, for the next three Brazilians that you do, you know, I'll add on a eyebrow cleanup. Okay. Or you're not discounting their hair kit or something, something like else that. that you can do. Yeah. Yeah. Add value, my friends, add value. Awesome. Um, all right. I think, you know, we... We just have a couple little comments in here. Lots of really positive comments. Thank you, Tiffany and Shannon. Yay! Uh, yes. And um, we've had two people, at least on the Colorado store, purchase kits while we were talking. Right. One Art, person, Art. Anja, we will call you tomorrow and get the um, waxing pad added in. Um, I have all yeah. your information, so we'll get that taken care of for you, so no worries. And then the last question is, if we wanted to learn more advanced sugaring, um, will it be on your website? Um, for I'll speak to Alexander's when we're up and running. We will we will do hands-on classes again in both locations. Yep. We don't know when that is yet. So um, we're hoping sooner rather than later, but we will do it and it will be on our website under classes. And then Shannon, you can talk to yours as well. Yep. You can just jump into the tribe right away. You, we have a coaching group there. We're happy to help you. And uh, 
like I said, you can always uh, message me, DM me on Instagram. If you want to send me, we will sometimes get people that are stuck or d they just can't get it. Um, send me a video. There's no judgment. Send me a video of what you're doing that you just can't get right. And I promise you, I'll just you just a little bit and you'll be off to the races. So we got you. We got this. Okay. Awesome. Um, all right, ladies and everybody that's on. Thank you so much. Everybody hang in there. Um, the recording will be up tomorrow. If you're interested, we do have other webinars coming up. We are working pretty feverishly on the back end here yeah. at Alexander's and with our amazing partners like Shannon at Love to Sugar to keep that information coming to you guys while you are, we're all in this situation and we're in it together. So thank you. Thank you so much. You're trailblazers. Thanks, I love it. <laughs> thank you.